Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Cougars have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happened. We'll see if they can keep it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. San Marcos. In 2002, the football field was renamed Jim Wacker Field of Bobcat Stadium in honor of the former Texas State University football coach and director of athletics. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. the ball teed up and we're just about ready to get this one started sends it sailing downfield and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it he's taken down at the 33 it to the 41. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. They try him again and this time they've got him in the backfield. No game. That makes it second and ten. around the 49-yard line. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 17-yard line. What a huge third down run. A big, big gain and a new set of downs to keep the drive alive. Taken down at the 16. That brings up second and nine. From the 16 yard line. Second down. at about the 17 yard line these guys have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time here's the eighth play of the series Looks for his running back, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Texas State could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. A quick update now, here's Reese. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman. And for Oklahoma, they can't afford to lose today's game and expect to make a bowl. The mean green are on top. 3-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Jones, ready to kick.
Lee takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 37. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for. Our player to watch this game. Hart's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. That brings us second and one. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Over the middle to his tailback. And down he goes around the 41-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he hits him hard at the 28. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. is caught the defense lays him out the defender wanted a head start and they certainly Offside. got him for it defense. looks like they got a I'm little too anxious second. trying to jump the snap count from the 23 yard line it's first down they come out on an empty backfield He's out of bounds right around the 20. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. Brought down at the 11-yard line. Number eight on the tackle at the 11-yard line. First down. Quickly. Page brings him down at the five yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Now he pitches it, and they make the stop right around the two yard line. Taylor picks up around three on the speed option there. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Throw caught touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So that's an eight play, 61 yard drive. They come away with seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And down he goes at the 27. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down to the 35-yard line. That makes it second and two. Tackled for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. They're about four yards away here on third down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that.
Palmer, the return man. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Crystal check out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 26. Houston is up four. Makes the grab past the marker. He's taken down at the 41. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at the 49. Minor hit the tackle at the 49-yard line. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Houston in front, 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's a gain of 16 on the play. First down. Hey, defense. Hey, defense. Left side. Squeeze. Squeeze. He steps up. That's a great tackle. That's the 14. First down. To that quickly. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Touchdown, Cougars. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Sooners come into this one ranked number four. This is a game we've been watching closely today. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. Oklahoma has the edge, 14-10. 14-3 game here, Reese. Nolan has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throw. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Left and he's brought down quickly. No gain on the play. Man left, man left. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Down. Easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. And he is drilled at the 38 yard line. No gain on the play. Right left, right left. Third down. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Kill. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Henderson awaits the snap. Oh. 
He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this a second and long. A little toss across the middle. And he's level at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That'll bring up third and six. He's taken down at the 48. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. Gaddis is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. Barrett fields at the 17, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 23-yard line. It's second down. He fires. This was the intended receiver on the way. That'll make it third and 13. He chucks it downfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Rodriguez is intended to see the other play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Palmer is back to receive. He's taken down at the 45 yard line. Houston's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He sails it long. And he's hit immediately. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. They go with a run. Touchdown, Houston. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. And for Oklahoma State, an aerial strike gives them their first score. Oklahoma State leads it 7-0. Thanks, Reese. 21-3, our score here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. The smart quarterbacks 
and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. And off to the left. Houston's called their final timeout. Anderson to punt. Brought down at the 47. The Cougars took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out their different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Knackle made at the 30-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Fires out to his wideout. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Shows some moves, and he's in. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Collier from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at about the 31. Texas State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. He lets it fly. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. And he might want it all here and does. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. Offside. Defense. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Jones looks ready to kick this one off. Lee from the six. Got the corner. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Houston's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Parker. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. Brought down around the 40-yard line. 
Game of 13 yards. Check three, check that three. makes it first and 10. Two, three, eight. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Game of 12 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. From the 32 yard line. First down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Cowboys deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Cowboys are out front 14-7. In other games, the Sooners come into the game ranked fourth in the nation, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oklahoma, they're looking to win their third straight. The Sooners are out front 21-13. Three touchdown ball game here, Reese, 31 10. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 31-10, Cougars. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. McCall from the three. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? That's a great tackle at the 44. Richardson with the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Big opening. 
the 10, and he will score. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Hart's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and, and just every week he has impressed us, and then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting, is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game, just his competitive spirit, leading this team and up to this point just a flawless performance second and ten ball on their own 25 Mike six. Mike six. Yeah. Oh, and big hit there to stop him It out to him again, and they make the stop at about the 49. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. Quick throw. And they push him out around the 44 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. Taken down around the 20 yard line. That makes it first and 10. No, no, no. And he is drilled at the 24. Loss of four on the play. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 24. This one's going deep to the end zone. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. This is the 10th play of this drive. Going for it all to the end zone. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's sacked. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Houston looking to build on this commanding lead here. There he goes. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down.
from the 46 yard line. First down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. And he's tackled right around the 34. Harris makes the tackle at the 34 yard line. First down. The Bobcats lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Throws in the middle. He's tackled right around the 24 yard line. Number eight makes the tackle at the 24 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's taken down at the 14. Number eight makes the tackle at the 14-yard line. That brings up second and one. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 12 yard line. Whitaker on the tackle at the 12 yard line. First down. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Houston, up big. Nice run there. Taylor gets seven yards on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Sooners arrive at today's game ranked fourth in the nation. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Oklahoma, they have a chance to win eight games if they can take care of business today. Oklahoma has the edge, 31-16. Reese, we're not going to have an exciting finish here, I can tell you that. Nolan has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas State's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or, or drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Moves up in the pocket, and he's immediately tackled. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 37. He wants it all. Got it to the senior. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Second and 
Here's an opening. Touchdown, Bobcats. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he adds the extra point. Jones has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Lee from the seven. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Houston's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into the position of being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. Houston with a commanding lead. Tackle at the 26. That brings up second and 13. That's three down and one to go. Houston's running away with it. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Quick throw, brought down around the 40 yard line. Gain of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Wide receiver screenplay. Has some daylight. And down he goes, right around the 32 yard line. First down. From the 32-yard line, first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. Check nine, check nine. Watch the run, watch the run. Houston is winning big. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 18. Minor brings him down at the 18 yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. You must be dreaming. Mike 40, Mike 40. Throws complete. He's got space to work. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Gain of 11 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the ninth play of this drive. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's hit and taken down. That brings up fourth and goal. They're going to go for the easy three here. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Yeah. 
He gets it up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Collier fields at the goal line. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's level at the 32. Six-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. He steps out at about the 37-yard line. It's Patrick. Gains about four yards there. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. From the 37-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this play is number eight on the drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. Stone tackles him for a loss at the 40-yard line. Third down. Third down again. He heaves it deep. Short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. He makes the PAT. Cougars coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It works. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tack 
tackled after a decent pickup. Gaining five on the play. First down. Hart's performance today, Kirk, it was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really, just a campus legend, a guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Houston 48, Texas State 24. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.